All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> Kato presents a family Christmas album. This magnificent presentation of 20 Christmas songs of joy, peace on earth, and goodwill to men. Robert Goulet sings. God rest you, merry gentlemen. Andy Williams, Doris Day, Tony Bennett, Julie Andrews, and many more. 20 Christmas songs of joy. We wish you a merry Christmas. Ketel's family Christmas album unfolds this beautiful Christmas scene. Record or cassette, just seven ninety nine. Have a merry Christmas from Ketel. Available from Grace Brothers, Woolworths, Meyer, DJs, Parlings, Light and Sound, Waltons, Eagles, and Home Crafts. And we are back here on Convincing Idiots. A very Merry Christmas to you. As you know, Christmas season is upon us. I am Millennial Nick. I'm here with my friends, Zenial Dean and Gen X Brian. And we are here to bring you all the joy of the holiday season before we know it. Before we ho, ho, blink ho. Our, with the blink of an eye, it is going to be time for our friend, Jolly old Saint Nick, Santa Claus himself, to mount that merry sleigh and head to your... Oh, wait. Except this year, I don't know if you guys have heard this, he is not getting uh, pa packing his sleigh full of gifts. Rather, oh, no, Nick, he's how, throwing, how in the hell is he going to get everywhere? He is throwing that sack of gifts over his back, and he is hopping aboard his electric bike. Because turns out, that old sleigh was quite the gas guzzler. So why not go green this year, Santa, and get your own? your very own electric bike from our friends right here in Carrollton, Ohio at RPM Bike Shop. That is correct. There's no need for all that hustle and bustle and to have elves aboard with managing the gift list. Santa's magic. He knows it all. And there's no reason. Gas prices, if you haven't noticed, lately they've been up and down, but a lot of times they've been through the roof. So why gas up that bulky old sleigh when you can get your very own electric bike, take it around the world, and deliver presents to the children everywhere? That's what Santa thought. So he contacted our friends at RPM Bike Shop. He called 330-808-7792. They are located, like I said, in Carrollton, Ohio, not too far from here. Before he gave them a call, he made sure he did his research, just as you should do. Go to rpmbikeshop.com or on Facebook, just use that little search bar and search for RPM Bike Shop. You can see the very products that they have to offer you there. You can see the way that Santa is now choosing to deliver his gifts to your children and so many other wonderful children around the world. So don't be on the naughty list. Make sure you give RPM Bike Shop a call today. Again, that number is 330-808-7792. And find your way to a very merry electric Christmas this year with RPM Bike Shop. Mm. So that is what Santa's chosen to do. And, you know, nonetheless, obviously he's going to be on his electric bike. But Santa loves while he's making the rounds, listening to his favorite Christmas songs. And, hey... Who amongst us doesn't? I don't know about you guys, but like after Halloween, I'm full Christmas mode. Christmas Absolutely. music. Absolutely. Love it. I don't care. I'm not Love one it. of those people that I'm like, ah, it's too early or ah, maybe the week before or ah, only at Christmas. No. Honestly, the Christmas season to me, you do so much decorating, you do so much preparation, and I love the music. I'm not willing to just do it for a few weeks. I want it to last as long as possible. So mm -hmm. Christmas music is no exception. So I was thinking, gentlemen, that there are a lot of Christmas songs out there, a lot of Christmas albums, a lot of renditions of classic Christmas songs, that why not make our very own Mount Rushmore of our favorite Christmas 
artists. artists. Okay. So maybe, I mean, you can include songs, I think, if you like. I'm not going to throw rules on it and be like, you can't say songs or whatever. But like, I was thinking artists. Like, what mm-hmm. is your Mount Rushmore? If you're listening to Christmas music, what are the voices that are bringing it to you? So it could be as simple as a song, or it could be, I mean, I kind of geared more towards um artists that have christmas albums or do an assortment of christmas songs things like that so when you hear the holidays what does it sound like to you is basically the idea here so if you're making your very own mount rushmore of christmas artists who do you guys want to hear from so let's let's start with dean Dean, who's led you? What do you guys want to go? I mean, I guess we'll. Okay, well yeah. go, do you guys yeah. want to rattle off your Mount yeah. Rushmore? Or do you want to go around uh, the table? We go, we, go, we go round robin. Okay, so Dean, uh, we you start go us like off. our first one. Uh, yes. Like like we'd always say, uh, because we're idiots, we don't know that there's only four on uh, four faces on Mount Rushmore, so we do five. Yes. Mm-hmm. So this is our Mount Rushmore top five, and it's kind of fitting because I picked this one because of his his kind of almost you know baritone voice like mine mm-hmm. i'm Obviously. gonna go with to me the fucking king of christmas music when you think christmas you think god damn bing crosby mm-hmm. yes, who had mm-hmm. his white christmas album in 1942 which is the number one uh christmas single of all time oh really is white that christmas right really bing crosby. yep hmm. i I peppered. I I did some research here. I got I got some uh, stats here for us. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That's very good. Actually, there's a, he's also on my list. Um, Bing sure. Crosby. For me, nothing represents childhood more than the Bing Crosby Christmas album, and it reminds right. me of like baking Christmas cookies with my mom. Mm. Like that was what she always. And actually, to this day, she gave. It was kind of a. A very nice passing of the torch. There was I remember the day that she gave me her Bing Crosby C D and she was like, I'd like That's you to awesome. have this and you put it in the car. I just and actually put it the and vinyl. Yep, I have it in my car. I love the Bing Crosby Christmas album, and every time I hear it, it like it's one of those things that that soundtrack instantly takes me yeah, back to nice. my childhood home and baking sugar cookies with my mom. Can you do me nice. a favor then? Nick, uh, real quick, do I know favor. where this is going? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm no, I'm, I'm not. Somebody you is, banging my mom. I'm not <laughs> hitting on your mom. She does enough hitting on me. My to, beautiful, cover this. my beautiful no, childhood no, memories of baking. No, sugar. I just need <laughs> Nick. I just need you because I want to do you a favor. I need you Something to close your eyes. Batter, I don't even no, know. No, no, Nick, close your eyes, and mm-hmm. I'm going to bring you back to that moment. Mm-hmm. You ready? Okay. Here it is. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm dreaming of a white. Christmas. Wow. Do, do you smell cookies? Do you smell yeah, cookies? I can actually oh, feel funny. the cookie cutters in my hands right? of the yeah, I of the Christmas tree. You're welcome. And of the reindeer. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then press it into the cookie dough. It's just like yeah. on there. Yeah. Right. Very well done. Very well done. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> Anyways. Brian, Bing Crosby, fan. Uh Bing Crosby <laughs> is on my list. As I know well. how I fucking sound, all right? Yeah. No, it, yeah, he's on my list as well. So yeah, I'm with you. Just, um, yeah, so many great songs. Like I said, White Christmas. He did, um, uh, the Christmas Christmas Island. He did that song. It was like that. That I love. One of my favorite oh, movies, yeah, yeah. Christmas yeah, movies, yeah. is Chris, is Christmas Vacation. Right. So we talked about this. So we maybe we'll talk about Christmas movies yet again. We will on a future episode. But I love the scene where Chevy Chase is visioning the pool. And has mm-hmm. to pull out there, and then there's the, you know, the, the whole my little thing to say. That is, oh, that's no. big. Well, that's, Dean did it better than me, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, that, that's, a bride, oh, I, yeah. That's right. That is Bing Don't Crosby singing voice. that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, the Bing, Bing Crosby's on my list as well. Yep. All right. So who, who, who's next? Uh, that's uh, you, Brian. Okay. Uh, I'm going with the, I'm going with the king, the king mm. of rock He's on and my roll. List. Me too. The great Elvis Presley, the Elvis Presley. Christmas What's funny is not, I, we yeah. none of us we didn't check with each other. No, no we did not. Yes, this is the first time we're finding out. Yeah. Well, we all have similar tastes as far as Christmas music. I think so. Probably not going to be any surprise to any of us here. But yeah, Elvis, the Elvis Christmas album that is something where not really the full-blown Christmas season yet for me until I hear 
Elvis singing some Christmas songs. That album is great. That's a and that album, if you're not that familiar with it, it's a nice blend of you know rocking Christmas songs and the traditional sure. nice, you know, white, you know, just great, great Christmas album. Some of the king's best singing, in my opinion. So yeah, yeah Elvis Presley, definitely uh one of my in my my, my personal Mount Rushmore of Christmas singers, Christmas artists. Nick. Yeah. I, uh, I'd like to piggyback on that and just add something. He's also on my list. Uh, mm -hmm. My grandmother uh, that I was very close with, I just lost in uh, July of this past of this year, uh, was a massive Elvis fan. So similar mm -hmm. to the Bing Crosby thing, Elvis also represents a lot of childhood to me. So my grandmother loved Elvis. She had all these commemorative plates and she collected Elvis things. So on their Christmas tree in this house that I live in now, she had every year they would come out with an Elvis Christmas ornament and you would press a <laughs> button on it and it would sing a little bit of a song. Uh, and um, there was one like Blue Christmas is one that sticks out yes. to me. I still remember it. You know, Blue Christmas by Elvis. You hear that, you know, Blue Christmas ooh, with the backup singers and stuff like that. And it just takes me right back. It's one of those ones that reminds me of my grandma's house, reminds me of all the traditions that that we had here. Uh, with my grandparents, who was basically who were basically like a second set of parents to me, and so Elvis is definitely one. That's just another like reminds me of childhood. It's it's really cool because the Bing Crosby is kind of like the home one. Elvis was kind of like my second right. home one, and and that, you know I, I heard both of those albums on rotation every year. I mean, I it was just the soundtrack to Christmas uh, as a kid. So Elvis definitely great pick was also on my list. Um, this Sorry, next one, I, um, I, I have two Christmas. Yeah. Or Sorry, Nick. I have two yeah. Elvis Christmas ornaments on my tree right now. They're yeah. not the ones that sing, uh -huh. but it's one of uh, one of Elvis in the 1968 comeback special. He's you know sure, the black sure. suit, yeah, and another yep. one of the sev the 70s Elvis. You know, just yeah. like this. The, the, nice. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Go yeah. Ahead, please. All right. Yeah. She had well, I, a handful of them. But yeah. They were. Yeah, I haven't got to, to touch on Elvis, um, but that is another one I have a stat on. Um, not only was has Elvis touched the three of our lives. Uh, yes. In his music and his Christmas music, but Elvis Presley, uh, Elvis Christmas album, 1957, is the number one selling Christmas album of all time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, no surprise. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. That that speaks for itself. Nice. Go Very ahead, good. Um, Who, I'm gonna go. Next? I'm gonna go with another old timer here. Um, this completes the trinity for me of like kind of childhood sounds and things like that. And this is, quite frankly, uh, no pun intended, one of my favorite singers of all time, Frank Sinatra, as mm -hmm. a Christmas... It's on my, uh, on my list. Just, his, I mean, I could listen to Frank Sinatra sing anything. I have, and Nick, Christmas is no favorite. When, when, when Megan got me the, vine, the, the record player last year, mm -hmm. um, or two years ago or something, but it came with... She got the Frank Sinatra Christmas album. Nice. Highly recommend. I have it on CD, mm -hmm. actually. It's oh, sitting behind yeah. me on the shelf somewhere. Get it on, yeah. get it on your, because I know you have the record player too. Yeah. Get it on the vinyl. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, Frank Sinatra, just incredible. I mean, his his voice, and he that's one of those ones. So, like, you know, I've talked about, you know, my home, my, my grandparents, my great grandmother, who, you know, I, uh, my, my mother's grandma. I don't know that she necessarily, she had an old AM radio and it was this old school looking radio, like you would imagine. Like, I mean, I have a vintage looking record player, but it kind of was that style that very, what you would expect to have in a great grandmother's house. I don't know if she necessarily, if this was what was playing or anything like that, but it just, the sound of it reminds me of Christmas Eve at my great grandmother's house on that old radio. Just the baked goods, the food out, the, you know, just walking in there, the dim, knowing that Santa was coming that night and just everything that went along with it, all those memories. Um, but yeah, Frank Sinatra's voice kind of really replicates the sound of the type of music that my great grandmother would listen to and the things that I would hear in her home. So Frank Sinatra is uh, up there on my Mount Rushmore as well for uh, old Christmas artists, Christmas artists in general. Yes. I, I, I real, I'm not going to say much more than that because Buck, you just said it best, but yeah, Frank Sinatra is, is classic timeless. Mm -hmm. he, you know, he is Christmas, you know, part of, my tradition as well. So yeah, Brian. And Frank Frank's on my list too. 
Nice three. Look at us. Yes. Three for three. Abs- absolutely. Just the, like I said, the, his voice back then and those and those out, it's just phew, flawless. Is yeah. there a cooler fucking flawless. dude too? Like when you're singing, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, just he, he, like any Chris, any goofy ass Christmas song that there, if he just made it sound great, right? You know, yeah, just yep. Yeah. All right, so I, my well, it's it's hard to say because we've all agreed here, but okay, my next one. Um, I have who is my favorite Christmas uh, singer, um, and he sings the best version of my favorite Christmas song. That is Nat King Cole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. uh, he had a, the album was called A Christmas Song, nineteen sixty. Um, my favorite Christmas song is um, uh, the not the old drummer boy, but the. the uh, I'm trying to think thinking, of, wait, how, how old am I? I'm getting my thoughts right. crossed here. <laughs> um, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why? Well, you have to know your own Christmas song. I would go, it, 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 go ahead. No, I, I well, all right. <laughs> All right, well, here, here it comes. <laughs> All right, th- think about it. Okay, all right. I- I'll go that you can think about your favorite Christmas song uh, title. There's like four or five Christmas songs total, I think. That, no. Yeah, I'm kidding. There's like, I was going to say, least, there's, there's at least like, eight. There's 25, easy. Uh, okay. I, you just got to be, right? Like, common, well, this is a. Uh, conversation. That's a, yeah, there's a, a conversation. I feel like there's a lot. It feels like there's not that many, but when you look at him, you're like, oh, I know that one. Oh, I know that one. Oh, I know that one. There's there's a lot. All right, my next one is another another Rat Packer. Mm. The the pride of Steubenville, Ohio, of which yeah, we're in Ohio. Uh, the great Dean Martin. So the, the, there you go. Another one. Just the the classic crooner. I just love Dean Martin's voice too. Just so smooth. And he has another so, one. Just something about your the, love for Deans. That's right. That was uh, my, Deans yeah, with my, smooth my first, voices. That's right. <laughs> yeah, just that's like right. this episode. That's right. Yeah. No, but he he was cool though too. Just yeah, just again, just to, I don't know what else to say. Just a great voice. Just a different different feel to his singing. I don't know. It just I love all his stuff. Marshmallow World. I got you. Got my love to keep me warm. All that stuff, just so so good, so so good. Yeah. So love Dean Martin. Good pick. Yeah, Nick. Uh, so this one, um, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, this person can have the exclusive rights to all Christmas music, and I'd be just mm. fine because this person gives me my Christmas music the way I like it. It's both classic and it's modern and it's Canadian. Michael Bublé, from okay. as far for my money, could yeah. have like you could make it a law that no one can do Christmas music except Michael Bublé. It's the only way I ever, ever need to hear it again. Michael Bublé is is hands down. I mean, I you know I enjoy his music, and you know he certainly has a vintage, uh, you know, like that crooner style uh, to his voice anyway, and in the, the albums that he puts out and things like that, and the music that he makes. Um, but man, like Christmas time is where I just feel like, ah, Michael Bublé shines. Like he's that mix of modern and classic. And I just, fuck, I love Michael Bublé. He's definitely a throwback. Yeah, he definitely is. Yeah, absolutely love Michael Bublé. Like if you think about it, like before that, we don't have like our versions of a, a, a Bing Crosby or Frank Sinatra when it comes to that sort of thing. He is that version for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Dean, what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, Holy <laughs> Night. Okay. Is that what it is? Yeah. That that's is a nice it. song. He does a great yeah. I, Yeah, that's a I great version of that song. I, I honestly, I mean, I'm honestly, I don't know if, you know, if you, you should watch the YouTube video if you're fucking still listening or even watching. But, um, the weird, frantic embarrassment in my eyes because, like, my mind just went fucking blank. <laughs> yeah, not the. I have no excuse. I've had two. I've had. I've had two drinks tonight. 
So I have no goddamn Have yourself a uh, Tannenbaum, Mary, little who's drummer that, uh... boy, fucking... Uh, well, in uh... my defense, like, when I was who's a kid, the, who's the, who's like, the I don't baby, know if the baby I knew... Christmas. Uh, who's well, I, the baby I don't think Christmas I knew the called. name of the song, like, because, like, there's so many different parts <laughs> of the song. When I was a kid, like, I could have called it, like, three different things. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, again, there's no fucking excuse. It's just, I'm an idiot, and <laughs> I just, I, I drew a fucking blank for everything, and I, I don't even... If, if don't you call yourself asked, an idiot. You're an idiot with a stupid voice. Don't you say that about yourself. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I, I easily could have, like, you could have asked me my fucking middle name, and I think I would have blanked. I just, fuck, I, whatever. I'm, I'm st- whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. you. I do agree. The, no Nat King Cole, the Nat King Cole version of Holy Night is really, it really is a beautiful song. It really, yeah, even as, a, even it as a child, best. it's the best. It's not just like almost haunting, like like how yeah. like smooth his voice is and that song yeah. and the and the cadence and it yeah. was amazing. So. Oh, well, who's your next artist, uh, sir? Oh, um, my last one because we all agree to. Well, you guys didn't have Nat King Cole. And I barely did, I guess. Um, I've Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. The, mm-hmm. sure. okay. Ella wishes you a, a swinging Christmas, mm-hmm. which gives a little gives a little swinging to the you know swing music style to Christmas. Different, yeah. and and we needed a girl's voice uh, in this. So yeah, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, nice, very good. All right. Uh, my last one, another crooner. So I'm all five for five classic crooners that's all what right. i like that that is my that is my christmas uh the great johnny mathis mm, okay yeah another one so smooth yep. i think i th- i think johnny toured even recently uh within the last year that. or two yeah um yeah just just great Good for I him. Mean, it's, it's, yeah so many so many great crooners and he definitely makes makes my list here so he's getting every, every song he does just just great, flawless voice, beautiful, perfect. Not much else to say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, my last pick, and I'm so, I am shocked that Dean did not put this person on their list because I know that he's quite the fan, um, and as am I. Um, maybe not as much as Dean. Did but you pick Weird Al Yankovic? I, <laughs> I did not pick Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Um, but I gotta say, uh, Quebec's own Celine Dion, my goodness, mm. Celine Dion, oh, Celine Dion Christmas album, <laughs> just inject it right into my veins, like, ah, oh, beautiful, I mean, everything uh, she does is flawless and magnificent, but goddamn Christmas, I mean, she's, whole other level, Celine Dion, Celine Dion, right. I mean, I Jesus say that, Jesus loves her, Jesus loves her. Everybody loves her. Santa loves her. Jesus loves her. All the three wise men. Balthazar. I don't know the rest of them, but they all Nat fucking King love her. I think that was a dragon. <laughs> Balthazar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does sound like a dragon's name. It does. I'm, I'm positive it's a wise man's name because it doesn't jingle all the way. But oh, fair enough. I, it does sound like a dragon's name. Touche. Uh, but no, like all joking aside, I do love Celine Dion and her voice uh, her, with her Christmas songs is just phenomenal as well. So, like, I just, I love Celine Dion doing Christmas. It's very elegant and classic, and I just love it. You're good. All right. All right, so uh, recap your... Honorable your mention. Let's do, yes, do honorable mentions first. Let's, let's write, let's <laughs> honorable mentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honorable right. mentions. Yes, I would be remiss if I did not... Shout out the love of my life, Hillary Duff, who had her very mm. first album, by the way, was a Christmas album called Santa Claus Lane. Some remakes of songs, Christmas songs, some original songs. So go check out Santa Claus Lane by Hillary Duff. That's You're a real a thing. That was her man. That was her very mm. first album. You're a wow. sad little man. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's wonderful. Dean, you have any honorable mentions? I don't know if my brain can recover from that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who in the fuck saying Grandma got ran over by a reindeer? Hey. They were in the fun. Is nobody going <laughs> to shout out Josh Groban? Josh Groban's a great Christmas. Ooh, yeah, the old like, Josh that's Groban's that's a good Christmas. Yeah, that's one, you know? good. That's shout out to the, to the Grobanites out there. Yeah, sure. 
And you got well, like you Mel Mel Torme was fantastic. True. Again, one of the early crooners. Um uh trying to I, who go ahead, I Brian. That, I, I had Nat King Cole as a as a as an honorable mention to you. How about okay. uh, close also to making my uh, Andy Williams? Oh mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So many, so many great uh, versions of Christmas song, Andy Williams. Did you guys see I, I, there's a a Louis Armstrong uh, vinyl yes, that just dropped this I actually, year. I almost bought it. Uh, I almost Saturday. Did too. But I was very close. Did, but we almost, but we both almost did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it was expensive. I'm like, and and plus, like, literally, I have like literal six different Christmas albums, like yeah. vinyl. I'm like, do I need another one? I mean, it's of good. Yes, you do. And especially Louis. That's not bad. And Man, it's like that. a red vinyl. It's very beautiful. It's right. Like it's it's it very spin. cool. Yeah. yeah. Any others? Yeah, but I'll give you Louis Armstrong. That's that's a good, nice honorable mention. Yeah, that's a very yeah. good one. I like that. I've also got the Carpenters as honorable mention. Oh, like Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, he was cool. <laughs> kind of what the whole I didn't know he about. did Christmas songs, yeah. Well, well he yeah. he whistled a lot while he I saw things. He sang yep. songs at his own birthday party? Like what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. No, the the Are carpenters the, the brother the brother sister uh I can hung up on a tree. Mm. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, the, this this is the Carpenters duo, the brother sister duo. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Karen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Karen Carpenter. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah she, 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 go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. Um, okay. I don't know. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> I'm Easy. I'm done. Easy I'm done. now. I've okay. already made a fucking Jesus joke. I, I, yeah. You, you think, okay. You think I'm going to hell because if I make yeah. an eating disorder joke? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. Any other honorable mentions? Uh, um, just the Jingle All the Way soundtrack, really. Like it's got Tom Petty on it. I mean, it's, it's, uh -huh. it is. It, fuck, fuck around and find out. Like it, no, it's a great. If, if, it's, we're, if we're gonna do that, then the other day I saw the, the Home Alone soundtrack. That's a good Christmas soundtrack. <laughs> we're gonna do soundtracks, right? That might be an interesting, interesting topic. Christmas movie Jingle soundtrack. Jingle Way soundtrack. Oh, it's got God. fucking... Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We got problems. We, Chuck we, Berry, we, Johnny Mathis, Charles Brown, Clarence Carter, Nat King Cole. It's got everybody we named, that, that, basically. That sounds like a pretty good yeah. soundtrack. Not yeah. gonna lie. He, he, it is. He's kind of right. It, it is. It's a good compilation. <laughs> all right. This is all the candy cane. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, let's see. Is it, I, has it got the Carpenters on there? There's no Carpenters. Uh, it actually doesn't even have the Tom Petty song on it, which is weird because that's in the movie. No, for him. He wants to put it on his own album or something. Maybe. Uh, just I got two more real quick. The Perry Como and the Letterman. Uh, more classic crooners. Perry Como had a great voice as well. I had a great version of it. It's the Lord. He sang the Lord's Prayer, just a very beautiful Christmas song. And then uh, uh, the Letterman again, just four, you know, four Can guys. Can I do a special crooners. shout out? Go ahead, please. No. Um, hold on, hold on. I be, because I'm a moron. I I want to make sure vamp because I I, I want to make sure I get this correct. Or, yeah. So the jingle the, all the way the soundtrack the was. Song. Oh, okay. What is your favorite Christmas song, Dean? Oh, Holy Night. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. He was quick on the draw. Look at that. I'm telling you, I, I, I had a fucking <laughs> Actually, brain fart, I would like to shout out two favorite Christmas songs that I go love ahead. that are kind of yeah. untraditional. Uh, the Ramones. Have you ever heard uh, yes, Merry Christmas? That I, I, I don't want to fight tonight. I enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. I love the Ramones. And also, my favorite band, Pearl Jam, has a Christmas song as well. Um, I think it let me sleep. It's Christmas time, so go check that out. That's a that's a good one too. Hmm, very good. Yes. All right. Didn't you write it? No, he didn't write it. Okay. Yeah. So no, anyway, I got other it. Christmas. Okay. okay yeah. So we we talk so much about like Christmas songs, and we do. If we're giving honorable mentions, in general, I yeah. Well, I okay. would like to give an honorable mention to a Thanksgiving song. The, okay. At least it, it, in Brian's generation, 
he will get this. But Arlo Guthrie. That Brian, sounds are, made are, up. Are you familiar? I know the name. I, I'm sure I know some it, of his stuff. The the song's called Alice's Restaurant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It okay. is it is a it is a song. It is a Thanksgiving song. Mm-hmm. He is a singer songwriter, kind of a, a, a folk artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the song is let me again. That's why I wanted to look this up because it is eight minutes and thirty seven seconds long. Mm-hmm. Jesus. And it talks about a Thanksgiving day and evening where, and I guess it's a true story. I won't get it if you never heard it. It doesn't matter if I explain what the fucking song is. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, it, we everybody talks about Christmas all you want. I want to shout out to the one Thanksgiving song that I know, Arlo Guthrie. And they played it. I think NCX does it on Thanksgiving night. They, they play the whole song beginning to end. Okay. So Arlo Guthrie, Alice's Restaurant, my honorable mention. All right. All right, recap your Mount Rushmore. Nick, who's your Mount Rushmore again? I have Michael Buble. I have Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, Celine Dion, and Bing Crosby. Very good. Dean? Good Mount Rushmore. I have uh, Nat King Cole, Bing Crosby, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and Ella Fitzgerald. All right. I got uh, the King, Elvis, Frank, Bing Crosby, Johnny Mathis, and Dean Martin. So pretty safe to say, I think, guys, we, 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 d- we tend to prefer the classics crooning that uh, the more modern sound is not. Is that what you hear? We, I we hear like... that you two are misogynists, but, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I had Celine Dion. You know, I, yeah, I I'm had, gonna stick with my statement. Actually, you know what? Actually, I had, I had sorry, Rosemary go ahead, Clooney. I'm sorry, I had Rosemary Clooney on my honorable mention. I didn't mention her as well. Oh, Rosemary okay. Clooney. Very, there very was good. another one that yeah. was popular in my home that mm-hmm. I was actually legitimately surprised that Dean did not bring up, Don as Martin? I know it was his his first concert. Jewel had a Christmas album that was quite oh, yeah, phenomenal. That's right. Shit, yeah. I forgot Jules about that. Yeah, that Jules' was... Christmas album deserves a okay. shout. We'll give, we'll give Jules an honorable mention. If we're going to yeah. do that, I'm gonna like I just said there, uh, Dolly Parton has yeah. has a couple different uh, fantastic Christmas albums. But your Dolly Parton, yeah. anything you sing is going to be pretty fucking good. So. And she's also got a couple fantastic other things laying around, too. So there you go. Yeah, her fucking knees are terrific. Oh, absolutely. Bending mm-hmm. like crazy. Still in good working order. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're terrific. But yeah. that, that, that Nini meat is, uh, is pretty nice. Mm. Nini. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I worked for it. But I don't. I, I don't and admit we're dangerously worked, close but, to getting yeah. a complaint. And for this yeah. week's hey, episode, I didn't it, say it. Idiots. I didn't say it. <laughs> yep. What better way to? First of all, uh, that girl that it, complains probably a, isn't fucking listening anymore. So <laughs> let's lift the band on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, and what better way to end a nice, warm Christmas music segment? Than talking about Dolly Parton's uh, knees, knees exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking That's right. about. That's right. Yes. So Nick, they get that, that all bandable yeah. shit. They get coming That's down right. there, and they all real soft, and maybe you put some lotion on them. Mm-hmm. Put it on I, those needy meats. I have an idea to do <laughs> the please. outro. If you guys are open to it, sorry, John, I'd like John, to... Johnny Mathis. I'd like to do the outro this week. Actually, if you want to pause, I would love to hear him just admit that he knows what the fuck Johnny Mathis sounds like. <laughs> I, I mean, like, in does. a general sense. Like, I'm yeah. familiar with the yeah. name, but, like, no. I was thinking I could do the outro in Dean's voice tonight. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. I right, so sit back and enjoy. Okay, yeah, yes. without okay. further ado, um, you know, this has been another episode of Convincing Idiots. And uh, if you have not done so already, <laughs> please feel free to go to our social media accounts and subscribe, like, rate, and review. First time you sound like a man. <laughs> As he takes a swig of his beer, he would like to tell you to go to our link tree. 
So just Google convincing idiots. L I N K T R E. Sorry, those were two E's. They didn't. They didn't come out. But that's what they were. T R E. And there they were. So go check those out. Like, subscribe, rate, review. And if you haven't done so, go to our website. That's convincing idiots. Dot wordpress dot com. So for this episode of Convincing Idiots, I am Zennial Dean slash Mickey Mouse, aka Millennial Nick. I'm the real Zennial Dean. <laughs> and I am <laughs> Brian. Look, his have balls we, dropped. <laughs> have we convinced you? To join us for more holly jolly Christmas time ha -ha! <laughs> on Convincing Idiots. <laughs> Did you just see that shit? If you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. Come back. You're going to want to. Dreaming of a white Christmas.